Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. If you have thought about building your own Eurorack module or synthesizer, a look at Pico ADK might be worth your time. This microcomputer comes with its own audio converters and can run DSP code based on the Vault programming language, which is quite easy to learn. If you're interested, please join me in this video. Here we go. So this is the Pico ADK and as I said in the introduction, ADK is an abbreviation for Audio Development Toolkit. This board was designed by Sylvester, who goes by the name of Data Noise TV over on GitHub. As you can see here, this board has a 32-bit digital to analog audio converter and also a built-in analog converter for connecting up to 8 potentiometers. You can feed this board with your own firmware that executes DSP code that you can write in a language named Vault. More on that later. Then there is a C++ program which acts as a layer between your hardware and your DSP code. As always, let's begin by taking a look at the hardware needed today. As usual, I'll link these in this video's description. I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi 400 to compile the software, but you can also use your PC or Mac if you want to. Then we need the Pico ADK hardware, of course, and here's a 3.5mm stereo audio socket. Here are some potentiometers, some pin cables, a MIDI keyboard, a 3.5mm stereo audio cable, a USB-C to USB 2 adapter cable, and finally, here's a 5-pin MIDI to USB converter and a breadboard. The breadboard is just a board of connectors, so you can prototype your electronic circuits without needing to solder them. Now let's download and install the software you need. First, we need to install the Pico development kit for the Pi 400. If you want to do this on your PC or Mac rather, then you can get all the software needed from Raspberry Pi's webpage. A link is in this video's description. Your best bet is to read the how to get started document on the web page. All of the following commands are in this video's description for you to copy and paste. As always, begin by upgrading your system. Then install npm, which is the packet manager for node.js, which is a web server that can execute JavaScript code server side. And if you don't know what that means, uh, don't worry, you're not going to need that in this project. I just mentioned this for completeness sake. Next, install Vault. Vault is a simple language which is optimized for programming DSP or digital signal processing code, and we'll take a look at that later. Now we can download the Pico Dev Kit. Download this shell script and then execute it. And after that's done, do not reboot your computer yet, but instead remove the Pico SDK folder inside the Pico folder and download it again using this GitHub command. And this time recursively getting all the libraries needed for compiling the other things. And now reboot the system and then download the Pico ADK template which is exactly what its name implies, a template for creating your own audio devices like synthesizers, effect processors and what have you not. Now change into that directory, create the build folder, change into the build folder and then compile the program using CMake and Make. And once that is through, take the Pico ADK board, hold down the boot switch and connect it to your computer like this. The Pico ADK will show up as a USB drive now. Copy the main.uf2 file found in the build folder to that drive and then the Pico will reboot automatically, executing your custom firmware now. And now it's time to build a first simple setup. Push the Pico ADK into the breadboard and the stereo audio socket too. Using the pin cables, connect the middle pin of the socket to the ground pin of the ADK, then the left and right pins respectively, and now connect the Pico ADK to the MIDI interface using the USB cable and connect the MIDI keyboard and connect an audio recorder to the audio cable and now you can start playing some notes. If you don't have that MIDI USB converter, you can also connect the Pico to your computer and it will show up as a MIDI device and then you can just use your digital audio workstation or other keyboards to play that thing. 
Let's take a look at the more complex example now. I've added three more potentiometers and I hope you can see that the first pin is connected to the ground, the second pin is connected to the analog digital converters ports located opposite of the USB-C port and the third pin is connected to the 33 volts power source. This allows us to control filter cutter frequency, saturation and resonance respectively. Let's also take a look at how this works software side. In the Pico ADK folder, you'll find some C++ files which take care of running all the hardware tasks for you, like measuring the current resistance of your potentiometers, lighting the LEDs and so on. As you can see here, the main loop also takes care of running your Vault DSP code, passing some parameters to your script. The actual sound processing is going on in the DSP Vault script file found inside the Vault Source folder. As you can see here, this is the stuff that synthesizes sounds, reacts to MIDI inputs or potentiometer movements. On the Vault DSP page, there are plenty of examples beginning from an entry template for you to fill with simple code to full-blown polyphonic synths. You can go to the page, just copy this example code and paste it into this dsp.vault file, then save this, run the compiler again and transfer the firmware image to your Pico ADK to try it out. Vault is cross-platform by the way, so anything you code can run anywhere, even inside your web browser, as seen here. Also, the examples I showed you are fairly small and use only a fraction of the storage space and RAM of the Pico ADK. So there's a lot of headroom for your own projects there. Sylvester, the developer developer behind this board also announced support for Mozzie, another sound programming language, in the near future. He also pointed out that at the moment only one of the CPU's two cores is being utilized and you can expect an update which uses the second core for hardware interface control and other things, reducing some of the stress on the first core. All in all, Vault DSP might be the topic of an upcoming video, so if you want me to take a deeper dive, please press the like button and leave a comment under this video. All things considered, this board offers a very cheap way to get into developing your own hardware synthesizers with mechanical user interfaces and the possibility of connecting up to 8 hardware controllers from the get-go and the inclusion of a high-quality audio converter makes this one a really compelling package for only 30 bucks in my opinion. You can get Pico ADK from Schneider's Laden in Berlin or from Tindy. I've included links in this video's description. And last but not least, here's a short improvisation using the monophonic synth and the delay paddle. Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want to see more on projects like the Pico ADK in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can become my patron, link is in this video's description, or join this channel as a member by using the button under this video. Thank you very much.
Yeah, and that's it for today. The Pico Audio Development Kit. You can get this for around 30 bucks at Schneider's Laden in Berlin. Link is in this video's description. And if you found this interesting and useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.